This week, I'm living with Nathan Carter and his band on a tour bus in Inverness. Today is the first of four gigs Nathan is performing and last night was my first night on the bus. Ooh. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't feel great. It was like sleeping on a train track because whoever, and I will find out who it is, was in the bunk beside me, growled for the night snoring, so I haven't slept that well. It turns out I wasn't the only one who couldn't sleep. Could you hear Mike snoring? Could I hear Mike snoring? I feel like Mike was in my ear snoring for the night. My whole bunk was shaken with the... I think I had about um, three hours Did sleep. Did you hear me shout at him? Well, I woke up to hearing you going, Jesus, Jesus Christ! Yeah. Jesus Christ! I didn't sleep for the last three hours because of Mike. I know. Well, I just felt a little bit, um, I suddenly just felt a bit like <laughs> claustrophobic, you know, that kind of feeling. It was like a, um, it just didn't feel that big, you know. Oh, wow. So the day begins. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> or at least live with a proper celebrity. <laughs> so we're going to, look at you, you love your own jokes. Don't you, you're really enjoying that one. Love it. With the giddy Ness settling down, we've arranged a boat trip on Loch Ness to go in search of the world's famous monster. And I ask Nathan, what else is he searching for? Let's talk about love. Are you looking for love? Not at the minute, no. No? Just happy being so asked with that shit. Wow. You know, there's time up ahead, like, just... But then, if the right person comes along... Who knows what happens around the corner? Yeah, well, it could be like a fan. Today, in, in, it could be a fan, definitely. Today, we could be looking for Nessie and a, a, a Nessie appears, you know. But people are a little bit fascinated with your love life, I think, aren't they? I get fed up doing interviews where all they ask me is, are you in a relationship or what are you doing? Yes. And I'm, like, trying to promote, like, a new thing or a gig or a new DVD, and it's, like, the tight lens of being... Nathan, looking for love. Yeah. yeah. I just feel a bit dizzy. It's the lights, the car. Do you not feel a bit...? I was born to do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. If I'm feeling seasick already, I don't fancy our chances of finding Nessie. And singing the theme tune to Titanic is only tempting fate. Near, far, wherever you are. I'll never let go, Lucy. Let's talk about the Loch Ness Monster. Monsters. Monsters. Well, there's got to be more than one of them. The first recorded sighting was made by St. Columba in 565 AD. Yeah. On many occasions, two or three of these creatures have been seen at the one time. All I've ever seen personally is single humps in the water. Photograph number one I took on the 6th of June 1986. And there's no way that it's just a whale. If there was anything like mammals, like dolphins, whales, or seals in Loch Ness, we would have picked them up for the thermal imaging. This is a bit of a treat for you, isn't it? Having a break. Oh, it's lovely. Like, you know, I, I don't actually think I would rather be anywhere else right now than sitting here with you, freezing my thingos off. You know. Thanks, Nick. Where are you going to be in five years? Five years. Um, Ten years. I'd like to be doing uh, probably a bit more in America, if I could. You know, it's a big market. It's a huge I, market, could, though, for you, competition-wise, right? Could, if I could tap into it, it'd be great, you know? Um, just maybe get a single, do a bit of TV out there, and get, get played on the radio. That would be great. Have I always been, like, your dream duet? You know the way everyone has yeah. someone that they really want to duet with? I, I would have a dream at least three times a week that I would love to sing a duet with you. We are sailing. We are sailing. Oh, no, don't leave me hanging. Stormy <laughs> waters. Don't make it the words. Across the sea. No luck finding Nessie, so we go in search of a decent lunch instead. Mission accomplished. Thank you very much. Lovely. You Thank you so much. Cheers. It's like first dates. Cheers. I'm going to go to the toilet now and ring my friend, tell him how I'm getting on. Oh, wow. Lucy's a nut job. Lucy's a nut job. How dare you.
Our chat goes from first dates to fatherhood. It's not an easy thing that you guys do, I don't think. Being on the road a lot and... I think it's you're not, either it's not designed glamorous. for it or you're not. That's the only thing about you now. It would be hard with a relationship because you're away so much, you know? Yeah, and to be honest, mm. I don't know how... Like, I, I experienced it with the boys in the band, but to bring a child up mm. and still be doing this job must be pretty tough, you know? Yeah. Because um, you don't, you wouldn't see them for half the year. So whoever you meet, ideally, would be in the same kind of business as business, you. Business, maybe. Mm -hmm. So they'd get the gig. Might make it easier. Yeah. Or a teacher, because That's they fun. get the whole summer. No, they get the whole summer off. Oh right, right. Yeah, yeah. So then your wife and children can tour with you. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Am I freaking you out a bit talking like this? Yeah. I notice you've got a bit amazing. pale. Yep, sorry about that. I'm thinking of mortgages and houses and Jesus, nappies. Yeah. You'd love it. You'd be brilliant, Dad. Um, let's talk about Danny O'Donnell. And what a great mentor he's been to you. Yeah. How did he hear about you? Yeah, so when I moved to Ireland, I moved to Donegal and my album was played a lot in Donegal on Highland Radio. And Daniel had a couple of the songs, obviously, on radio, and he got my number and texted me and said... Oh, well, well. Yeah. Uh, well done, young lad. Keep up the good work. You sound great. Daniel was also very supportive to Nathan's friend, country music star, Lisa McHugh. Um, like, he was very good to Lisa McHugh as well when she started out, you know? Yeah. And... Where would she be big now? She's big all over, really, but, um, like, do you mean... <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, our giddiness hasn't gone away. And when Nathan's old girlfriend's name comes up, we can't help ourselves. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> it's nearly showtime, so we head back to the venue where I check in with Anne. Anne is down here selling the merch for Nathan. You're late. How dare you? Wow. You're late. Pillowcase. And this is oh my God, people are actually going to get to lie about with Nathan Carter. Note to self, um, get my own pillowcase that's range. With the, that's with the uh, new CD. And that's the one we used to have. Good morning, beautiful. I offered to help out, so we rehearsed my sales pattern. Hello, is anyone selling? Not yet, madam. I just oh, have to do my makeup. Ready, yes. Oh. Actually, not yet, madam. I just have to go to the loo. No, OK, go on. <laughs> How are you nice doing? Nice to meet you. Lucy Kennedy, see. Nathan Carter's future wife. Hello. Nice ah. to meet you. <laughs> I have a mug. Yes. Well, and a teddy, which he kissed. Take that, yeah. And yeah. the mugs are... Look, this would suit you better, right? This is yeah. a picture of him and a DVD Tour and magazine. a mug. Well, that would be lovely, yes. And for you, 120. Can you please back, please? <laughs> Thank you so much. Please don't touch our merch. It's a full house tonight. And as the audience start to arrive, I head backstage to check in on my roomie. Are you nervous? You can tell me the truth. A little bit. That's good, eh? That's kind of good nerves. Yeah. Kind of excitement. Now, those jeans are a little bit tight. They feel it. Let's come and have a look at the, the band there. Yeah. With the crowd in, the tension backstage is mounting. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ almighty. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> This is a very professional setup. Have a peek around there. Gooey! It's quite exciting, isn't it? Do you feel better when you see the audience? Like, I, I would feel better once, like, I see the audience, I know that they're, like, people. Yeah, no, normal. I'm, I'm nervous for the first song, and then when I'm on, I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. You just can be anywhere around here, sure. And then if you feel like playing a tambourine at any stage, just run on. You can't afford me, Carter. You are gone. You can't afford me. Deep down, he's probably getting a little bit nervous. I would. But they seem like a lovely audience. But there's pressure, I think, you know, for people who perform in terms of whether it's comedians or artists. Because people pay in to see you, you know, so they want. Folks are going now. Oh, good God. Okay, let's go. Please welcome on stage the one and only Nathan. 
it's showtime, and Nathan takes to the stage. Good evening, Inverness. Oh, I see those highs in the air. Come on. Yeah. Two doors down, 11 and looking and having a party. Two doors down, the night away, the time around. And the hits just keep on coming. So let me tell you that I love Oh, Caledonia, you call me now and go and home. This is mad. My first time ever watching Nathan Car Sharing concert. And he is bloody brilliant. Honest to God. He's got the audience wrapped around his little finger. And, um, yeah, I'm actually really proud of him. He's brilliant. This is the moment we'll be waiting for. Nathan is going to come here and change into a coach. Check for any cash. Oh, where's my mic? Mate, mate. Really get me mic. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. You look great. You look fine. Now you're perfect. Good luck. Oh my God. Oh my God. What if he slips? Wait, just take out your shirt, please. For God's sake, don't slip. And watch the crown jewels. <laughs> with his biggest hit to date, Wagon Wheel. Doing right, um, we're we... going to go and meet the meet the people. Okay, meet meet the peeps. Let's do it. Oh, wow. So, after performing brilliantly for two hours on stage, Nathan now goes out to meet the fans. Something he considers to be just as important, and there's plenty of them. Early next morning, it's time to go, guys. Really good seeing you all. Thank you so much. It's been emotional. It has been emotional. This makeup case is too, way too heavy. Yeah, I know. Are you, where's, where are my clothes? Oh, well, I'll get them again. Oh, you we're, know we're... you can pull this along. Oh, right. <laughs> Nathan, thanks so much. That was really, it's really good, good fun. fun. I wish you could stay longer. I know. You're going to miss us. Uh, yeah, I will. Pause a little bit there. I will for at least five minutes and then. Pity. You know. Right, kiss me. Right. Are you, are you going to get again to bed now and just chill yeah, for the rest of the day? have an hour's kip and then. Round two tonight. Round two. I'll stick some interesting pictures of you up on Instagram from oh, Snapchat. I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Not. Anyway. Okay, get out of here. Chat to you soon. Love your work. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Thanks for having us. See you later on. See you later. Ah, do you know what? I actually will. I actually would have stayed if I didn't have family back in Ireland. Um, that was really, that was really good fun. Something I've never done before, being on tour, being on a tour bus, which actually wasn't that bad once I got over the fact that I'm claustrophobic. Um, and then Nathan, do you know what? The perception of Nathan is, and the perception that I had, was that he's quite shy and, um, and quiet. But he's, he's not. He is great crack. He is such a laugh. It was genuinely 
a laugh a minute. And, um, and my God, can he sing? I think he's like a little, little buble. Band were great. His family were amazing. He was amazing. Cannot praise him enough. I am now a Nathan Carter fan. Super fan, in fact.